here we go. Hi everyone. So tonight gonna be very special for our ID live at uh, Chef Nui regular because we're gonna have a special guest come in to cook with me tonight and um, I'm so excited to in introduce and uh, I hope everyone will be enjoy watching us cooking together. So I'm at home today and I'm sure everyone stay at home and uh, stay safe and also during this pandemic time, you know, uh, with all the um, like a um, precaution. You can keep talking. And uh, for us to stay safe, so um, stay at home and then uh, um, talent you might have like a, some of the cooking some of something that you interested so tonight I am so happy to share my cooking with uh, all of us about uh, my Pad Thai because actually this dish uh, back then when I was um, in high school I sell Pad Thai and um, Many of my friends at high school, we have almost 400 in our class at high school. They will call me as Nui Pad Thai. So um, I've been uh, in um, Canada for almost 15 years and Pad Thai is the most popular dish at our restaurants. So we have at Pai, we have a Suko Thai, Sabai Sabai and um, with the Pai Uptown that uh, 2335 Young Young Street as well. So meanwhile, we're waiting for our guest to join us. So very, very excited today. Okay. So how many of us here tonight? So because we're gonna have uh, um, some of the the winning as well. Oh, hello. There you are. Hi, how are you? The bike is so good. All right, let me back this up. Oh, so nice to see you. You too. There we go. Okay. How are you? Yeah. It's been so long. It's been so long. I think it was like yes. about a couple of years Last ago. Last time we talked. And uh, remember, you told me that you like to cook. I was so excited because back then I'm working on my cookbook. And now here we are uh, with the King Cookbook. I'm so happy. And thank you so much for tonight that um, cooking with me for uh, our IG Live here. Everyone very excited in Toronto. Yes, and well, welcome everyone uh, to, to join us. To get a little background. I, I, uh, when I was working out in Toronto, I was working on Shadowhunters. Um, we, I, the Thai food out there in Toronto is really, really great. But, uh, well, my wife and I, Shelby, I remember, uh, it was on like a Sunday afternoon and we, we happened to go into Kin, your restaurant, uh, oh. and, and just was blown away by, by the, the flavors and, and also not just that, I, I love the aesthetics of, of, um, the, how you decorated the restaurant. Cause it almost felt like I was inside of a bowl. And then you're like giving me like this food that was so tasty in like these beautiful bowls that like um, uh, I believe it's Royal Thai cuisine. Yes. And then, and and I never had had that before. And these Aww. just these dishes that uh, I I never had and wasn't exposed to. And um, and then I remember we sat for like an hour or two just talking <laughs> about uh, talking Thai about cuisine, food, and, uh... food, more food, and ever, all kinds of food. So I'm so excited to to oh to, to um for you and to like, teach me how to cook. Oh, well, I cannot say I would teach you because again, congratulations on your movie that um, will come up, uh, you know, like a uh, very excited and um, you know that all my life that uh, you are playing a chef in your new movie, right? Yes, I, I am. Yeah, uh, Solomon Chow, he was a wonderful chef and um, you know, a lot of just, I think it's a, a love language too uh, of cooking and, and, and cooking yes. for, for people you love. And then, you know, that's another way outside of just 
that's one of the gestures to, to show that you love someone. And I, I know that you know a lot about that. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really cool to, to, I guess, use a little bit of my experience in the kitchen um, uh, to, to help portray that uh, uh, Solomon. Well, that's, um, you know, for, for me, cooking, it's all about love too, because uh, I wasn't a trained chef and uh, I have to cook in the kitchen with my mom because I love my mom. Uh, after, after school, instead of going out to play with my friends, so I have to help my mom cook for our family. So it, it's starting with like, I hate cooking, but I love my mom. So I have to cook <laughs> for my mom. <laughs> You know, I know it's always a thing that you like didn't like and then you appreciate it well, way later yes. in life, right? Now it's a whole career and you have a Yes, awesome and a cookbook. different career and um, I love it. I love cooking for people. And uh, like today, I love to share too. That's the other thing. Uh, I know that you ate our food uh, at Kin. It's a royal Thai cuisine. But today, it's a street food. It's a northern Thai that uh, we're going to cook our Pad Thai with, uh, from scratch. We're making our own tamarind sauce for our pad thai. So let's start it. Okay. Um, how is, um, we're going to have, yes, we're going to have our uh, pad thai, which uh, making from the scratch. So we have the, the key ingredients in our pad thai, in my pad thai, it's a tamarind paste. So tamarind paste, either you can make yourself or you can buy from the store box. And today I would like to show you how to make it your fresh tamarind paste at home. Ooh, so yes. um, the recipe will be in my cookbook. So this one I will add uh, about one cup of water and tamarind that's uh, already seedless tamarind and then uh, normally it come in a block like this. Mm -hmm. Which um, the recipe this right here? Called, oh, yes, yes, something like that, right? So um, when I add it into water, so I like to break into a small pieces like this because it's easily to boil. Ah, I see. Okay, I'll do yeah, that. Yeah, I'm going to drop these uh, inside the water. And we're going to... So you, you, are you turning on the heat already? You turn on the heat already? Uh, yes, we start to turn on the heat. Thank you for reminding me. I'm so excited. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're going to turn right. this on. And uh, I use gas stove at my house. So for our... Um, um, like um, who that love to cook and then you use the at home, if you use the, the electric stove, it might take a little bit longer. Just uh, wait until the tamarind and water get to boil and then we'll see um, that the paste start to come out. And um, after that, we're going to leave it to boil a little bit for about three to five minutes and then we will strain them. Okay, so we're going to strain them. I, I, I have a little induction that I'm, induction pan so it should heat up pretty quickly um so we're just trying to get it to boil right it's yes boil. that's right, right so uh, meanwhile we're waiting to boil about the tamarind paste for tonight harry could you please tell me more about your movie yes um it's a. Uh, it's let me put this up um yeah it's a movie that's inspired by a real true love story um uh first it's called all my life and uh, it's about a real couple um, they, that fell in love, uh, they got engaged, um, and the character I play, uh, Solomon Chow, he, he is uh, diagnosed with a terminal uh, illness, and, um, and right before they were planning their weddings, they had to stop, and you Aww. know, they had to, they, they had to tend to, to his health, and um, unfortunately, he, he only had a very limited time, but uh, their friends banded together and, and uh, um, helped them you know, raise money from strangers and people, loved ones, to give them the, the magical wedding that they deserve. And uh, so it's a story about resilience about hope, um, and, and, you know, what, what this couple does in, in the face of tragedy. Uh, so I'm, I, 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 love, I love being part of this movie. I learned so much. Um, and just a little bit of, uh, you know, getting to showcase a little bit of love that, that Solomon does. He, he loved cooking. And, uh, and you'll see that in the movie. And so I'm sure he would he would have loved to 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 see what we're doing here today. And and, and I I don't think we we talked about what we're cooking today. Whoa, this is yes. Um, um well um of course with the cooking and the love in cooking, you know, and with the 
uh, story that you just talked about is based in Toronto and now I'm, because um, the connected is I'm in Toronto and I'm so glad that uh, you know can be uh, cook with you today with the um, like um, you know with the related um, what do you call that the the role in um, as a in chef right yeah, as a chef uh, exactly. Well, um, right now we're boiling our tamarind paste for those that just come in to watch our IG live tonight. And uh, tamarind paste that we're going to do, we boil them from scratch. I'm teaching Harry how to cook the uh, tamarind paste and cook pad thai sauce and making pad thai for dinner tonight. So, and and how, how do you, and pad thai, pad in, in Thai means fried, right? Yes. Pad is like um, pad is like a stir stir fry. Thai is like um, pad thai. So I guess um, with the the whole name of it, it's um, very beautiful stir fry rice noodle dishes. That actually is the most popular dish outside of Thailand. And so, and correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. You know. You, I don't know if you can fully trust Wikipedia sometimes. But um, from my heard, it's the national dish in Thailand. And 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 I, I think it was it was in the 1930s that this dish was created, kind of after World War II, and yes. uh, and was caused by like kind of the shortage of uh, of rice, right? And then so they're encouraging people to, yeah, during, um, to eat rice noodles instead because yeah, it took half the, the amount. Um, well, um, well, with the with the the pad thai, we uh, after jampon pho, uh, right? So they they um. Actually, this one is in France from uh, our uh, Chinese that uh, moving to live in Thailand, and we they make the rice noodle, and then we use the ingredients in our homeland to make it together to get a, sweet, a sour, sweet, salty, and spicy to the dish. So that's uh, how the created from Pad Thai, and uh, with the the tamarind, you know. I opened a restaurant uh, in 2008. I think uh, someone just called me and said, you don't know how to make pad thai. <laughs> because my pad thai doesn't have cash off. Oh my God, it's oh. made my heart like, you know, fall off. On the, like, answer the phone and say, I, I came from Thailand, not in Thailand, and I used my tamarind in my pad thai sauce. And some that customer was there telling me that, hey, you know what, if you add pad thai, your cash off will come to the restaurant right now and buy your pad thai. The reason that I, uh, the the answer that I said no, I cannot cook for you. That is not true of who I uh, grow up and eat, and that's what I want to serve for us. So that's that's uh, the story that I still remember. Remember, like a, it feel like a yesterday. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so great! That's so great. Yeah. It's, it's it's it. You know, it's I, it's it's funny because like you see all the mixtures and influences from different cultures. Sometimes when you like, even when we talk about. Italian food, like certain pasta, there's there's influence from another culture, specifically like when someone saw noodles and, and how to how to how to bring that from China and, and to, to to hear about like the different dishes and the history behind um, is is what's interesting. And uh, so like the tamarind paste um, is is this what is is this a kind of a side thing or is that going to be put in later into the pad thai well, when we cook it? It's um, it's actually it's a main thing for the pad thai sauce. So okay. how is your tamarind right now? So mine is uh, already uh, boiled like this. You know, it's the boiling. It's going to be brownish. Brownish, yes. It's boiling. Yes. Let me see. Let me show you. Right here. Oh, that look? okay. That looks very nice. Okay. So your tamarind, it seems like it's going to be a little bit sour for me when I look at it. The color is a little bit light. So in Thailand, actually, there are two kinds of tamarind. So one is sweet tamarind and the other one is uh, sour tamarind. So to make a Thai sauce, you need a sour one. And um, yeah, so most of the sour tamarind I grow up and I know the color is really lighter than the sweet tamarind. So, um, well, even though the recipe will say how much you can add it, but at the end of it, we're gonna taste a little bit. We want it to have it like a uh, sour, sweet and salty for all of the Thai sauce. So now I think um, your tamarind is ready to strain them. So okay. let's um, let's uh, scrub to make a tamarind paste from that. So now All right. So turn off the fire. All right. Transfer this boiled uh -huh. tamarind uh -huh. into a strainer. 
Okay. Oh, chief, that's what they call here in North America. Right. <laughs> North America. Can use a, Is it just straight? Yeah, training? that's okay. right. So be careful with the bottom. It might be too hot when you pour it again, okay? okay? And now you transfer all the tamarind boil from the pot. We're going to use this pot again. So we're going to put it uh, right now here. I'm going to strain like this. I thought you use a spatula or use a spoon, you know? You can do both. And then here, if you press them through like that, okay, press them All through. Right, the and turn, when, you, when you scrape them, scrape it back and forth like that. Back and forth and then press it. Well, this is dangerous what I'm doing. <laughs> and you're dancing too. Oh my God, you know? I love that. You know, it's it's all a rhythm, anymore. right? Don't 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 you think like sometimes when you, when you're cooking, I think with anything, like you, there's always just a rhythm, right? Uh, yes. Of how you stir and you stir yes. too hard. Oh my uh, gosh! You know what? I can't wait to to invite you back when you are in Toronto. I will show you how to work with the Chinese wok. When we have a big friend, we use our knee to turn on and off. The <laughs> yeah, no. So they call like that. And yeah. Cooking. And then the I knee up, I've seen it, I've done it before, you put the knee up. so much fun. So what she's saying is like, because uh, I used to work at a restaurant and um, you have this, this thing that goes, it's like a handle and it's yes. right here to turn it on and off. But when your hand is like stir frying yes. and your other hand, and also it's very heavy. So you're yes. using your knee. Your so knee, you're constantly yes. like you're doing this. Like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you move left and right like that. So... That's, that is nice so because, you know, during work, when you stress out and you just want to enjoy it, moving and dancing, that, that great idea. That's I'm going to share this with my team tomorrow when I go back <laughs> to work in Thai. Well, right now, see, you have a uh, tamarind paste that we're making right now if you just come in to see us for IT Live tonight. So you spread like that. Harry, look at the bottom, okay? So you leave it up like that. Some of the paste is going to be at the bottom. At the bottom, yeah. So you can just scrape them. See that? Use a spoon or spatula to scrape them. And, um, yeah, drop it All into right. the water. So and now, you can mix them. now what do I do? So it's supposed to look like this, right? Yes, that's okay. beautiful. Very yes. nice. So mine is going to be like this. Okay, okay. the different color. So the, the tamarind here is a little bit darker, slightly sweet, but- And um, what's, what's, what's the difference? Because I saw in the recipe that there is a tam Yes. Do they, oh, it's a little bit frozen. <laughs> oh, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. So oh, can you repeat the question? Yeah, so, so what we just made was a tamarind paste, but there's also in the recipe another a tamarind paste too as well. So it, are they, do they taste completely different? Is that okay. something? So this one here, we made tamarind paste. So tamarind paste is a one component ingredient in some pad thai sauce. So uh, here, the, after we make this tamarind paste, right? We're yeah. gonna measurement this to be to in a container. And we need about uh, this much, like about a quarter cup and two tablespoons according to the recipe. So this tamarind needs the same tamarind that I scrub and show us here. This one gonna go inside to make tamarind so uh, pad thai sauce. Okay, and how much do I put in there? Uh, it's uh, about one, uh, about quarter and two tablespoons. Quarter cup. Quarter A cup, quarter cup and two tablespoons. Okay. Yes. Sweet. All right, All right. so with the same pot that we used to boil our tamarind paste, you can, now we're going to use this one to make our pad thai sauce. So some people call them as tamarind sauce, but uh, to make it not uh, confused, I will call the pad thai sauce, but we use tamarind paste. And ah, the I see. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> Thank you. So the... The tamarind that we made, the, now it's, uh, we made tamarind paste, which is one of the ingredients in pad thai sauce. So now to make pad thai sauce, here we have water. We have mm -hmm. tamarind paste that we just made together, okay. about a quarter cup and two tablespoons. We have oyster sauce. We have fish sauce here and sweet soy sauce. The sweet soy sauce, and then we have grated palm sugar. Mm -hmm. So yes. 
right now we're gonna add everything into the pots, okay. empty pots, and we're gonna heat them up and boil so you do the to water. So yes. half a cup of water. About half a cup of water. And then just throw tamarind everything in. Paste. Tamarind sauce. Oh, tamarind sauce and tamarind paste. That's that's. The... Yes, the the same thing. Like oh, the, the thing we just made, the tamarind yes, sauce. Yes, that's one. Okay. We call tamarind paste. And uh, if the those that you don't have, don't make it at home, so you can buy uh, tamarind paste from the store bought. As uh, it's okay as well. Oh. And uh, for me, I like to um, make my own tamarind paste because um, it's um, the taste is very um, like a, the, the aroma of the tamarind paste. You know, it's so okay. beautiful. So sweet soy sauce, throw that in yes. there, right? Sweet soy sauce, everything. We have okay. um, this then, recipe uh, fish in sauce. my fish cookbook. Yes. Fish sauce. And then the um, oh, now we put everything oyster in the sauce, pot. right? Oyster yes. sauce. And I Sorry. Start it at the bottom because it might stick later when we turn on the heat. So now let's turn on the heat. And then the sugar, you throw it in as well, yes. all of it? Yes. The palm sugar. So this is my um, palm sugar in uh, Toronto that we have different sizes. And uh, sometimes it comes in the last block. Like a big block as well, so I cut in half. This one, see, I they come into like different dish. Wait, what is that? Uh, this is the palm sugar. Oh yes, yes, that's right. That's yes, right. so I, like I, I, I was like, well, am I putting cheese in there? Don't. <laughs> it looks like cheese, but no Thai, Thai Pad Thai. We don't use cheese. No cheese. No cheese. No cheese. Okay. I, I do have a question, and this is my confusion. So we made the tamron tamarind paste. So I don't need to add this, right? There's no, you don't need to add that. So that's something that we made that's that already. Good thing because I, I put it in and it would have been super sweet and too much, too much sauce. So this is so great. You okay. Can use the one that you made, but it, it measure up, measurement out about a quarter cup and uh, two tablespoons. Got it. Let me throw this okay. in here. So now, meanwhile, we boil. The re reduction for the salt, uh, sugar in the salt. Um, well, you know, during um, during the high school, Harry, I actually sell cut Thai to take uh, to help my mom for a living during my high school year. So you what did you do? School, oh, you helped your mom. I, well, I, make Yes, I uh, growing up in northern Thailand, and uh, every morning I would just bike my uh, have my bicycle, have a two big bag of pad thai in uh, like put in a small bag and bring it to school to sell for my friends. Oh, look at you, Miss <laughs> Entrepreneur! You are you are you are an entrepreneur before you even knew it. I, yes. I I used to do that, but I used to do like um, I used to sell uh, uh, CDs in the back of our, our trunk, and probably that was not a. <laughs> I yeah, wasn't doing it. Right? Mine was illegal. Yours is very legal. So. Well, so. My, mine's legal too. I have to carry the pad thai, go to my do each room and ask my friend if you want to buy pad thai. Oh my gosh, that's so yes. amazing. And, well, but later on, I actually uh, talked to my my high school and asked them to allow me to sell it at school. I have to open my business. That my, that was my first business that I have to write a business plan, at, in high school. And, and where did, uh, where did you grow where did you grow up where did you go to high school? Uh, my high school in Claire. In the in the book, you will see the beautiful green building. That's uh, that is my high school. Oh wow! And that's inspiration nice. for Kin Restaurant. If you see inside the Kin Restaurant, it has a green color. Yeah, yeah, I remember the even even the. Uh, I, I love that the fact that it was like almost it felt modern, but I, I at, at the end of the day it, it isn't because that is a lot of how the buildings look like in, yes, in Thailand. It's a colonial right? style. Yeah, colonial style in in um, in Thailand that's uh, introduced to us by King Rama V during that time, and our high school happened to have a building like colonial style building, and uh, I sell pad thai there since I was uh, in grade probably in grade eight, get grade eight grade nine. Well, you know pad thai, there is so many way to cook pad thai. Like this is one style of it. If you see. Some people will add dry shrimp in there. Some of the recipe in one of my cookbooks with Toronto eat add dry shrimp in there. But uh, we 
clearly we do not add ketchup for sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, so when, when is this? Um, obviously, pad Thai is considered a uh, street food. And yes. is there like a royal? Because what you also, what I never tried when I went to your restaurant, I never had before was the whole royal Thai cuisine. And I think a lot of times, you know, Asian food in general uh, is always people only uh, associate it with like street food or yes. or not really elevated. So when I went to uh, your restaurant, the fact that it was very elevated and 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 the way that it was served. It, it felt like um, you know it was almost like a French restaurant, or how how, yeah. how that 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 feeling was. But that has exi oh. existed for a long time, right? It's not something yes. that's new. No, it's a royal Thai cuisine. It's uh, been in the Thai in Thailand for a long time, and the reason why it's a royal Thai cuisine because uh, our uh, royal family have to, uh, they they eat right, so but they have the special chef which uh, the best the best cook that they cook and they come in to learn how to cook the special way. So the Royal Thai cuisine, it's um, uh, the fundamental behind that is like, we have a street food and then we bring to cook in the Royal family kitchen. And we have uh, the, um, some of the, the idea is like, yes, you can cook uh, food, but not so spicy. It has to be very beautiful, like especially the royal Thai cuisine. The, the the chef very high skill. Even the hand carving, the decoration of the presentation, it's such a beautiful. And I got inspired from the royal Thai cuisine of our Thailand to um, cook the food at Skin. And if I would have cooked, I, I cook that too. I cook Pad Thai there too, but. Instead of regular pad thai like a street that you can put on a plate and stuff like that, I actually wrap with the eggs. With I make the eggs Ooh. to be uh, like a um, blanket, and I wrap with the eggs. And instead of shrimp, I use lobster. So oh lobster, my gosh! Thai wrap eggs on a beautiful plate. Oh, it's so beautiful and it's so tasty and everything. It's um like can everything in the street food can elevate to. Royal Thai cuisine, but use the same uh, idea. Like if the chicken, you have to debone the chicken. If the fish, you have to debone the fish. So, and presentation is the one key that we have to make it look beautiful. Yeah, I would say it's it's such an art. I mean, I remember like the way you served dishes; it almost felt like an art piece, and and it wasn't. I never felt like going into it that I was like, um, uh, pay, paying for like something like incredibly like. Oh my God! I'm going on uh, uh, and, and breaking the, the 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 wallet. It just felt like you know it was it was priced perfectly, and and I got to enjoy this food that I felt like I was um, uh, uh, royalty in a lot of ways. And so I, I would, if anybody is in Toronto or happened to visit Toronto, or at this point right now, if you live in Toronto, I would recommend visiting Ken. And if not, um, you know Chef Nui has a, a cookbook uh, that was just recently came out that I can't wait to try a lot of the recipes as well. Uh, but right now, if you're joining us on IG live, we are uh, cooking Pad Thai. Um, it's, it's, it's a national dish for Thailand. It's something that I, I think uh, a lot of people have tried, but I think never tried cooking at home. I've never done it. So this is, I'm really excited to, to try this out. Yes. And you already make tamarind paste by yourself, and now you're making pad thai sauce. So the yeah. pad thai sauce, after you make this, we're gonna use only uh, a quarter or one third cup for one pad thai. So you can make it many of them. You can keep in your fridge. So whenever you feel like you wanna have pad thai, you can take the sauce out and stir fry, which is less than perfect. Five minutes. I like very, that. Very, very easy. So here we reduction our pad thai sauce. This is have tamarind paste, have oyster sauce, fish sauce, sweet soy sauce, a little bit of water, and palm sugar. So we reduction until all the, the sugar has dissolved. So if uh, um, mine already has dissolved sugar here, or how is your hairy? Mine's pretty good, I think. Uh, you know. Okay, I don't know. You, you, you be the beautiful. judge. All smells right. great. I feel it smells like a restaurant right now. <laughs> so let's try a little pad thai sauce, a little bit curry. How um, just um, a little bit of uh, the taste of the our pad thai sauce. 
Mm, okay. Oh, the aroma of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's great. A little bit. Yeah. That's the best part. When you're Sorry, like a, you see the chef, sour. it's always about trying it out because I, 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 and that's the best part. I'm, I'm a, are you a, are you a cook that loves to eat while you're cooking? And then when you have actually serving the dish, you're um, at home. I'm talking about at home. And are you like full by the end? Because sometimes I like, I eat so much while I'm cooking. That's right, the same as me. I I tasting it and I eat it along the way. So that's uh when I cook I end up not 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 more of the time that eat a lot of my food because I get full by then and eat all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Spoken like a true chef. All oh, right, what's yeah. next? So now we have the pad thai sauce. We're gonna uh, measurement out about uh, one third cup and we going to actual making pad thai. All right, so let's make pad thai. So here is the sauce that I already measured now, about one third cup. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, yes. I got some. I got some sauce for later. I'm excited about that. Yes, and you can make many pad thai for your cup. family. So, turn well, on some you know what? Um, uh, are you gonna use like you know for cooking pad thai? You can use a large wok like this. Oh, I got. I got a wok. Wow! Um, and, uh, induction. I've I've seasoned it properly. Yes. I feel so. I oh feel. Oh, yours. God. See, the, mine's mine's about two weeks old. So this is pretty pretty new. But yours has been going strong yes. for how long now? You can see the patina. Oh, yeah. look at that! <laughs> I'm telling yeah. you, for people who don't know uh, about like a walk in high fire. Um, I don't know what you call it in 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 Thai, but in Chinese it's called walk hei. Which is yes, this um, wok hay. Wok yeah. So it's the sear, like the high heat, and then when when the oil and everything, the combination of iron and when whether it be meats or vegetables touch it, it creates this char, charred like uh, taste flavor. that you can't, you can't, yeah, this flavor that you can't replicate any other way. This is like this is thousands, thousands of years. Um, so I I actually just I, I I know this from when my parents owned a restaurant and from after I graduated, I just never had a proper walk. And lately I've just been obsessed with it. So oh. um, I should be cooking on fire, but this uh, this induction pan goes up to 465 degrees. So it goes up pretty high. Uh, ah. And I think we'll be able to achieve somewhat the same uh, as, as you would get on a regular fire. Yeah. So I'm excited and, to do this part. Yes, and also the walk, you know, because of the bottom has a, it's like a row at the bottom. So it allows the heat and cook very uh, nice at the, the inside here and the, the, the wok itself is very thin so when it creates that flavor, oh my gosh, it's like people will come to me at the restaurant and say, how can I replicate the, the hay flavor in my pad thai? And I said, you have to need a, get a wok, you get a head at high heat. And here, because um, I didn't turn on the wood, so when we do the high heat, high heat, just you have to watch out for the, for the alarm because all the smoke. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> about to be smoky in here. It will create um, create the flavor. So so now we have wok. Now we go through our ingredients list. We have oil. Got oil. And shrimp. Shrimp. And shrimp. we have shallots. So we shallots. Yes. So here yeah, the uh, the traditional pad thai we don't add we don't add um, garlic. Uh, but we flavor it with the shallot flavor, so that's um, our shallot and the tofu. I like to cut it into the like this, so it, when right. you bite it, it tastes good. Tofu. And then your noodle. So oh yeah, how is oh your so noodle so it's good. It's in water, so I should should I drain it right now? Uh, yes, we can drain it first. Okay. So. Um. Yeah, because uh, we don't have fresh noodle in here, if you use the uh, instant noodle, you have to soak in room temperature water until it's softened. So otherwise, um, and, and just rinse before you cook, because otherwise the noodle gonna, if you leave it out, the noodle will go back to uh, like a dry instant noodle again. So my noodle is look like this. Oh, so yeah, it, 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 is it is a little, it's a, it's not fully soft, right? Because I never, oh, okay. they never boil. It, it's okay. We'll, we'll cook them and then if we need more, we can add a little bit more sauce or more water. 
Okay, cool. All right. It's, okay, uh, I mean, it's ahead. not super hard. I drained it. I, I, I soaked it for four hours. Yes. And then I, I put it overnight. Um, so I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing it right. That, but, uh, that, would, be, that would be okay. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the noodle, you know, because there's so many kind of noodle in the market, some of the noodle take less time to soak. So when you check your noodle, you see if it's already ready to cook. It's just like that. It's soft. It's like a, yes. And uh, it's still stringy. Yes. Perfect. Oh, your noodle is so long. Wow. <laughs> it's like beautiful. All right. So let's start it cooking, Kha Thai. So All the right. first thing before we use our wok, we have to heat up the wok first to let the steam expand, right? My favorite part. Oh. Yes. Oh, Wait. Okay. So be, be, before, how do you? How do you? How do you? Um. Do you, do you have a saying that you say before you you cook, or even I? Like, well, I haven't learned any Thai. Like, how do you even just say like, uh, what's the hello general general uh, greeting in, in Thai? Oh, in Thai we say สวัสดี S A W A T and D สวัสดี So for สวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดี Oh, yes. sawak di, sawak di, oh, sawak. perfect, so perfect. So, what for uh, for me, sometimes, well, for me, we say sawadi ka, or for male, we say sawadi ka. Sawadi ka. Sawadi with the hand, we put together like this. Uh, sawadi ka. This is how we greet, yes. Sawadi ka. Yeah. That's yeah. right. So, now, um, when we start to cook pad thai here, we're gonna turn on our heat, our wok to make sure that the, the steel expand because. If the steel doesn't expand well, it will suck the um, the the portion of the food that's uh, in when you cook them. It will stick in the, at the bottom. And here, Harry, I have this one here. It's uh, a letter that's um. Well, ne well, next time if you're in Toronto, I'd like to give you one of these. This is very oh yes, oh one. girl, yes. I got a mini oh, one. No. Yours is yours is like the the high powered long like. Legit one. Look at the way you move. Oh my gosh. You know oh, what? it's going to be uh, smoky up in here. Let me turn on, open some windows. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're going to turn on the heat and now we, turn, we add our oil. We add yeah, oil so the key is, oil. the key is, 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 is heat up the iron, then turn off the fire. Yes. And then add the oil. Yes. Right. So now... The oil, it's getting hot right away. But um, you know what? I'm gonna do the next step with the, our shrimp, right? So you add shrimp in. So you hear the hissing. So when you add shrimp in, um, actually, sometimes I like to use this one to help to fit them around. So mm. because the shrimp is cooked very fast, you cook it one time. So the shrimp when you cook shrimp, don't don't cook too uh cook too much because it's gonna get cooked during the add the sauce as well. So now my shrimp is turned beautiful orange like that, and I turn off the gas now. Just so you want it to turn pink, it. right? You just yes. wanted to turn pink. Yes, I will turn off the heat and I still have a, I will move the stream to one side like that. And now, okay. next I'm going to add my tofu and my shallots. All right, tofu and shallots. Right. Yes. So these uh, shallots here, Harry, you just cook enough for shallots to cook and have a beautiful aroma to your pad thai, but uh, not until it turns yellow or uh, turn crispy because it's going to be overcooked later on. So stir a little bit so my oil is still hot, so I need to turn on the heat yet. But now uh, the heat cooled out, so I turn the heat back on. And uh, it's come back, the steel of the cook there, they just move. Our shrimp to one side of it. That's how how we cook it. So then the shrimp will not overcook because mm. going to cook in the sauce after this still. Okay, and then so you I add the tofu my, already. Uh, later here to turn around to move the oil. So my shallot it's uh, moving and get to cook around the shallot itself. And at the same time the tofu 
uh, get Coop moving around as well. So now you have to watch out this this part because on the side it's my turn, my um, turn round. So move them down, and now turn off the heat to get too hot. Okay. And now I, you can smell it. It's aroma of the salon. Ooh. It's so beautiful, right? Man, uh, this is the best. The sauce that we made together earlier. So the pad thai sauce. Now we're going to uh -huh. pour it into the oil. Okay. And uh, the heat is still on, right? Uh, I, I turn off the heat now. Just um, okay. to uh, mix them together. So I mix them a little bit with the sauce so they get to cook. Uh, they get the, some of the sauce to season itself. And now I move the cream back to the sides. I, in here, they have the sauce, pad thai sauce, and uh, tofu. Next thing I'm going to add is a uh, noodle. So let's add noodle in our pad thai. And the fire still got still down? Uh, yes, still down. Just let's add the noodle first. So, but at the restaurant, we add everything in at once, and then you catch fire, like go up, beautiful fire, yeah. and the hay flavor. But uh, at home, it had to get the, to get that action. So, and then for the safety of the, uh, when you cook as well. So that's why I, in the recipe for those that are interested to cook Thai food, but uh, sometimes, uh, you know, never cook before. So that's why my, my king cookbook is uh, for, the home cook to learn how to cook Thai food. And now we mix, we mix the noodle with the sauce and let the sauce cook more noodle. It's about uh, three to five minutes until it's soft. So at this point, you can turn the heat on high. All right, let's do this. That's my favorite when I can turn it. You know, <laughs> I, know it's I know it's necessary to turn down the heat, turn off the heat. This is my favorite part, just turning it on like the highest possible yes. so you can hear it. I like hearing yes. the sizzling yes, sound, the, the smell. Right, and the noodles passing the size like this. You hear that? Smashing the, what? Yeah. So here at the restaurant, our uh, walk uh, very low, so we sometimes we toss our walk, but here at my uh, home powder is quite high from, from my uh, um, my height, so I'm going to use my ladder to help me cook. But some people, they would toss their, their walk and then flip them up. But um, it's uh, with the, the skill and with the space that you have. Wow, your walk is very high here. I still can I see all the smoke coming out. Beautiful oh. paper. Mine is not much. <laughs> um, you know, I, I discovered. Do you use? Do you ever use uh, induction? Uh, induction. Um, oh my! This is I go all the way high already. You can see the flame at the bottom here. You see that, but it's as not high as your. I love your. Um, this burner there. Oh, I could see. It's interesting because you know I'm used to always boiling the noodles, um, and not not having it. Um, not doing it this way where all you're doing is soaking it overnight and I could see it really cook down and it allows it to, to have that like al dente like um, so it doesn't it's not too soft and starts breaking apart right yes so um, how is your pad thai noodle going it's pretty soft now so I can uh, I feel like I can start the next process okay so it's soft now, um, yeah, to prep a little bit and then to, uh, put the noodle to one side like this. So you have okay. the other side to cook eggs now. Ooh, eggs, all right. So we put the noodle to one side and then uh, on the other side we add um, egg on it. And uh, the heat is still there so it starts to cook the eggs. See that? You start to cook the egg, and now mm -hmm. um, I like to just break the yolk a little bit, but not scramble them. So the, then the white part and the yolk is still there, and it tastes better that way. So now, Harry, you're going to lift up your noodle to cover the eggs. Use the heat from the noodle to cook the eggs. Cover it all with the noodle. Cover it? Yes. 
Oh, I see. I see what you're doing there. I see what you're doing there. Okay. Yeah. So we get the heat from the bottom, from the wall, and the heat from the noodle from the top. So it cooks. It just perfectly. But uh, what we're cooking, and uh, the reason why it turns off the heat because there is still some heat in the noodle, in the wok itself. When you cook vegetable, it's not overcooked. So next vegetable impact time will be chives. This one. Oh, yeah, chives. I oh, I, I'm pretty proud of these. So I, I regrew the chives. All you do is I put the stem and then put in water. So these regrew in about a week. So um, wow. uh, got these, got these uh, for free, <laughs> I, I, would, I would say. For That's free. very nice. Um, okay. And we're and cutting it fries, one and a and half. Then, so. uh, the next thing is uh, bean sprout. Okay. And uh, are we turning on the heat? Right now? No, I, I turn off the heat completely turn because okay. the heat there is still enough, give enough crunch to the vegetables so not overcook. Because if you turn on the heat, your bean sprout getting cooked more, the water will gotcha. release out, so it's soggy. And am I am I able to do this or no? Am I put carrot? I have carrots already. Is that not um, a thing? Well, or keep I, away. For me, I don't like carrot. In okay. My <laughs> okay, I'll do it exactly how you do it. Perfect. So. <laughs> Thank so do you. I do I mix it around now or no? Pardon me. Do I mix it around or do I just yes. let it? Yes, you mix it up now. See, when you flip it up, you see the uh, uh, egg mixing with the noodle. Mm, yeah. See, the heat is still enough to cook the bean sprout and chives, but not only cook. So here we go, our pad thai. Oh Green my pad goodness. Thai. Wow, smells beautiful. I this is this is making me so happy. It's just you know you always when you order when you get pad thai you only think you only order from the restaurant, and to, this isn't that hard. You know the ingredients wasn't that it wasn't. Yeah, I remember reading the recipe and and you were uh, and I was going through it and I just kept feeling like there was more stuff that needs to be had, but it's it's really not that much. Thank um, you. So That's, this is yeah. beautiful. I, lo I love. I love. I love when you have com com complex tastes and flavors, but um, the recipe isn't super complicated. I, that that just allows you to feels very accessible. Yeah, and we have the same. Um, this is the flat layer that I use in cooking as well. So just to see that. And here, if you see the pad thai, oh, the aroma of it. Oh my god. I oh, can, yeah. you know, even though uh, I cook pad thai all the time at work, but uh, every time I eat pad thai, I never get bored of my pad thai. Mm. So here the thing with pad thai, Harry, um, yes. sometimes, because everything is natural, right? So your tamarind is natural. So the sourness in tamarind that I have in Toronto and tamarind that you have over there, it might not be the same. So I see. the only thing that uh, the fish sauce that I use, it might not be the same as your fish sauce. The sugar that they use may not as sweet as you or more sweet than you are. So the way that uh, Pad Thai, uh, if you make it already, but then if you if you testing it, you test the food, and if any component that lacks, so we can add it more, right? So that's the thing. So let's test our Pad Thai today. How was your Pad Thai? And um, go a chopstick after. Yeah. Mine is a little bit light, so if you like a little yeah. bit darker, you add a little bit more sweet soy sauce in, and the color will be lightly darker. And, but you have to mm. taste the sugar. Mmm, that's really. Mm. I just love that it's um, you get a little bit of tanginess, you get no, a little salty, <laughs> you get a little sweet, um, and it's 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 really. I'm just. I like the fact that it's just not that hard, and yes. you know I I, I I really love that fact. So, um, and and I think eventually you know you can what are, what are some different? This is is this like a Western way of Western Thai? Like is there like a different? No, this is, is the northern style, northern style pad thai. I it's think. um very street style, very northern style. We use the tamarind, we use uh, coconut sugar. And uh, a little bit, uh, some part of northern of the Thailand, they add uh, sawtooth cilantro. 
uh, we add that in, and some part they use a uh, dry trim that uh, frost, dry trim frost. We we put it in the. I house them in a coffee grinder, so I add more, give more umami flavor. And mm -hmm. here, Harry, the good part about the the tartnet in my part Thai because we use tamarind, so the sour, the tart from the tamarind, it has the some level, but then you can add fresh of the tar, uh, the sour, use um, a lime. Oh, lime, yes, it's that's lime what's thing. missing. That's what I need in my yes. life right now. Yes, the lime in, and then you drop the space in there. Get the space and the flavor in there. Do you, now, do you, you do it once you serve it, right? You do yes, it once you, you serve it. Yes, you because we're going to eat them anyway, right? For tonight, so you mix them in. And toasted peanut. Oh, um, that's the only thing that I know because my 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 daughter is allergic to peanuts right now. Oh, okay. So we're we're uh, that's the only thing that I had to avoid. Yeah, but, the same um, as my daughter, so she allergic to peanuts. So to oh, so you know you know what's it. up. You know what's up. You know what's up. Yes. So, so I can squeeze the lime right it in. Tastes into it? very good with this already. Let's try it with the after you add the uh, lime in there. It's gonna bright the pad thai, you know. It's just like it's a, the next like a layer of the uh, the taste. Mm. Oh, it smells and do like I just add one? How many do I do? One or well, two? Well, I add one first, and then you taste it. If you don't feel like it's enough, you can add a little bit more because my my is like um, um, a wedge. So sometimes if you add a smaller one, you want to add more because if you taste it's not enough. It's uh, up to your taste now. Okay. Let me be the judge of this. Come on. Mm. Mm. And um, yeah, this is enough. That's good, tangy. Mm. Oh, oh my yeah. God. I'm so happy that I Thank able you. to share with you. And um, you. well, Harry. So with your movie, all my life. So what is attracted you to the character of Solomon and the story itself? Um, it's a, you know, it's, it, it, I remember reading the, the, the script and uh, Todd Rosenberg, our writer, just did an incredible job of weaving through, um, you know, uh, this, this genre, I guess it's, it's not just romantic comedy, it's romantic drama as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, there's a, there's a lot of joy in it, but there's also, um, a lot of heartache and, 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 and you, you get to see, um, what, what these two characters kind of go through in the short period of time. And um, I, I thought, you know, the characters that I wanted to play uh, are, are something that just show the spectrum of, of what it is to be human and what, what you know, a lot of us, they don't, we don't just laugh all day. You know, we yeah. have painful yeah. moments when we have, um, and some people go through a lot more than others. Yes. Um, but this one is just seeing how really heroic uh, uh, this couple is and, and the way that they uh, uh, moved moved uh, forward in 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 spite of like the news that they got not in spite yeah. but like uh, with with the obstacles that they were faced and um and that, I thought that was just so inspiring and um so I had to be part of the project and along with Jessica Roth who I wish we could do three person uh, IG live but she uh, is just an incredible talent she's just a, such a uh, um, a beautiful soul and and oh. and I, I think I, I just I, I love making the film and I, I hope that people enjoy it. Speaking of, um, I know I put up a, a giveaway. I'm I'm gonna we are just giving away a code uh, for people to watch for free on the uh, on the 23rd, which it comes out on PVOD. But uh, since like you you guys, I haven't really talked to y'all. Um, y'all been so great. We're gonna announce the winners, and and Chef Nui is also gonna give uh, one of our cookbooks away for free. Um, so I, I'm, we're gonna mm -hmm. announce the winner. And since I'm feeling a little generous because this pad thai is so good, I'm gonna give away actually three codes. Oh. Um, so 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 we're gonna announce it right now. Let me grab um. Thank you. Let me winner. grab my two. All right. Who the winner be? Who the winner be? Okay. Okay. Let's see. All right. Oh my God! Drum roll. All right. One, so we can do okay. walk roll. La la la! Oh yeah, walk roll. All right. So for the PV PVOD code, um, I'm gonna give to. Let's see. The Instagram handle is Mariel, my dear. Uh, M e r i e l l e, my dear. 
Mary, Ellie, my dear, something like that. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll have someone DM you and give you the code um, uh, when, when it's available. And uh, for the PVOD code, uh, also CQ, and Natalie is your real name. So you'll get a, you'll get a, a DM. And last but not least, uh, let me see one, two. Uh, be like water, IX, and Kai. So we'll DM you uh, the code when it's available. Wow, so, congratulations. Yes, we thank you. The Instagram handle that I saw for my winner for King Cookbook. So this one will be will go to Lana O'Rosh. So at yeah. Lana O'Rosh, congratulations for the King Cookbook, and we're gonna have uh, one of our team to contact uh, DMU for more detail. Congratulations! Congratulations! Wow. Thank you so much, uh, Chef Nui, for for teaching me how to cook pad thai. I'm gonna. I'm going to keep cooking this. I'm going to, uh, this is, this is such a good, uh, when, when I have all the ingredients out, it's just such a quick meal, uh, to do. And I love the technique. Usually I've never seen like putting things to the side and then cooking the egg and putting it over. It, it, it provides a different texture. So, um, thank you so much. And I can't wait when we can travel again freely, uh, to visit your restaurant again. And I would hope in the future, maybe open up a restaurant in LA. I think oh. uh, I think LA would give you show you a lot of love for for oh, kids. Thank you. So and, and, yeah, and thank you in Thai. You say Kop Kun Kap, K O P K O O N K U P Kop Kun Kap like that. Kop Kun Kap, Kop Kun Kap. Yes, and thank you everyone for joining Harry and me tonight. We hope you have fun and be sure to watch Harry's new movie All My Life. Available on PVD starting December 23rd. And you can find the cookbook King online or where the books are sold. And Harry, thank you so much again for tonight. And thank you for my heart. And I'm so happy that you uh, be here and then they get to share my cooking with you. And I can't wait to see you in person in, in Toronto. And we, I'm going to show you the, you know, the walk. And then we, we will yes, yes. We we'll, we'll, dance together we'll, in here. And make we'll do something special with that. Book. Thank you so Kai. much. Kap Kung Kai, Kap Kung Kai. Thank you very much. Nice. And, uh, you. and we'll Enjoy see you soon. Bye, Chef Nui. Bye.